Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got another cooking video for you and I'm just showing you some dried shiitake mushrooms and dried shrimps which I'm going to rehydrate. Once they're rehydrated and chopped up, this is what they look like. Top is a dried shrimp, bottom is a dried mushrooms. I've got some garlic, oyster sauce, sesame oil, salt, an egg yolk, some cooking wine and I also add in a little bit of fish sauce and soy sauce as well. We're going to conserve the egg whites because I'm going to use that as a glue when I cook. Once I mix all of the meat mixture together, that's what it looks like. And as you guys can see, I'm just adding some extra seasoning in. So I'm going to start making my wontons. I normally just use the egg yolk, sorry, the egg whites on the outside of the wrapper as a glue. So once I fold them all up, this is what it looks like. I boil the wontons in a separate pot because the water gets really starchy and I don't want that in my soup. So once my wontons have boiled, I strain them and add a little bit of sesame oil so the wontons don't stick. Now I'm going to make my soup base. I've just got some Chinese cabbage, some egg noodles and like an Asian chicken soup base that I'm going to use as well. The noodles should be boiled separately so you don't get a cloudy starchy water. I've also got some spare meat mixture which I'm just going to plonk in. So I'm going to make some meatballs without the wonton wrappers so I don't waste the meat. There are my noodles, there is my soup, and I basically just ladle out all of the goods and add it on top of my noodles. So that's what the finished product looks like. Super tasty and a fun activity. The next day was a weekend I believe, so I sliced up some mushrooms, I grabbed some eggs and I believe I made just a really simple butter mushroom with some omelette or scrambled eggs, one of the two. And as you guys can see here, that was our breakfast. High in protein and simple and easy. I've also got a honey lemon water there as well. And here I've got my Costco steaks, absolutely delicious, lightly salted and I'm cooking that off. Got some sliced mushrooms and some broccoli and I'm just cooking all of the goods down as well. I think I put a little bit of butter on top of the steaks as well and my partner made some mashed potatoes. So that was our dinner. I think this was on a Friday night. And now we are back to some more meal prepping. So I've got some chicken thighs cooking on a stove, no oil. Veggie wise, I've got some broccoli, onions, carrots, broccoli stalks and Chinese cabbage. And I'll also be using the Kung Pao Chicken Seasoning Mix from Lee Kum Ki. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I really enjoy their sauces. So once I chop up my chicken, add in my veggies and add in the sauce, I just mix it all together. This was served on just some simple white rice. We prefer jasmine rice, but you can use whatever rice you like. And some more meal prepping. So here I've got some beef mince, one kilo a large capsicum, some onion, some mochi passata, chopped carrots, and some spaghetti pasta noodles. I would have added in some extra mushrooms if I had any left over, but I think I ran out. So I'm just cooking down my carrots, capsicum, and onion with a little bit of water. I think most people use oil, but I prefer using water only because the beef mince, I get the regular beef mince, so it releases quite a bit of fat. That's why I don't like adding additional fats to my spaghetti bolognese. So I'm just cooking that down a little bit, adding a bit of salt, and then chucking in the passata. That's what my pasta mix looks like. This is going to be a big meal prep batch for my partner during the week. Um, so that's why it's like a big, huge, massive pot. Pasta gets pre-boiled as well, so when it comes to meal time, we literally just get the pasta and he'll just like scoop the sauce to add on top. Now I did add a cornstarch slurry at the end just to thicken up the sauce a little bit because for some reason it was a little bit loose, maybe because I added too much water, but the cornstarch fixed the problem real quick and easily. So that's the finished product, some pasta and spaghetti mi mixture. Can you guys guess what I'm making? I've got some onions, some mushroom, the beef stroganoff mix from Coles, the continental brand. I tried the Audi one, but I didn't like the stroganoff from Audi. Grabbed some sour cream from Coles and the beef strips from Audi. Yes, I'm making a beef stroganoff again. So I've got some olive oil, a little bit of onion that I'm cooking down. Then I add in my mushrooms 
and then I add in the beef strips, cook all of that down, add the seasoning mix in, and then I think the packet says add like a cup of water or something, which I also add to the mix, and then the sour cream at the end. Normally when I make this stroganoff with that brand, it's quite thick, but for some reason this time around when I made it, it was quite thin. And it didn't taste as nice as usual, so I'm not sure if they've changed the ingredients in this um, stroganoff mixture or if maybe I just added too much water. I'm not too sure, but we'll see because I'm probably going to buy this again within the next fortnight. So we will review the flavor for this stroganoff again at a later date. So I'm just making another Asian inspired dish. It, no, it's not authentic. So don't come for me in the comments, but I've got some dried shrimp here, which you can get from your local Asian greaser. I don't think Coles and Woolies sell it. I've got some eggs, some tomatoes, some thin egg noodles, which I probably got from my stockpile pantry. I've got some pork mince, which I got from Coles. It's cheaper at Audi, but I went to Coles for convenience on this particular day. I've also got some shrimp paste, which is very strong and very potent. It's an acquired taste, so you can leave this out if you don't like it. Um, and some eggs, if I haven't already mentioned that. I'm just going to rehydrate my prawns in some hot water, and then I'll boil my egg noodles in a separate pot. I don't like cooking my noodles in my soup because it releases a lot of starch and it makes my soup really, really cloudy, which I'm not a huge fan of. But... I'm going to crack on with the next steps. Now just bear in mind the dried shrimps will need to be rehydrated. You can't add them in last minute because they're quite tough. So once they're rehydrated like this, I basically get some scissors and cut them into little small pieces. If you have a model and pestle, you can probably smash it. The texture is probably better that way, but I don't have one. So I've just cut it up with little scissors. In this bowl here, I've got some pork mince, I think one or two eggs, some fish sauce and some sugar. And I will be adding my cut little prawns in as well. I'll show you what it looks like once I cut it up. It looks like really small bite-sized pieces. I've also got some tomatoes, which I've washed and cut into thick wedges. So tomatoes are a pretty important ingredient in this particular soup base. I just want to remind everybody, no, this is not authentic boom reel. This is just me doing my own thing with whatever ingredients I have left or whatever ingredients I have on hand when I'm filming this video. And I love tomatoes, so I figured I'd make this on this particular day. So once I've cut up the shrimps, that's what it looks like. Really small pieces. It's kind of replicates a crab meat texture and flavor in a way it kind of tastes like it so that's why i'm adding it to my pork mince meat mixture i basically just spoon it out into my pot of soup um, and it cooks once it's cooked it floats so it's really nice and simple and no this isn't really an aesthetically pleasing meal it's kind of rough around the edges as you guys can see so I've just got my noodles my tomato my soup my pork and prawn meatballs and I've got a little bit of shrimp paste on top which I will mix throughout the whole bowl just to help with the seasoning of the soup so that wraps up the video thanks for watching guys